we can use Google Meet to make breakout rooms for our students. We start with Google Doc, which will contain links to our rooms. We then need to link our rooms through a nickname Meet. Here in Google Classroom, we have a meeting code that we can go ahead and grab the URL on. I'm going to use this URL for the lookup feature. And I'm going to create some unique meet codes. I can then take the lookup and paste it in front of each of these codes, giving me a unique link. With that unique link, I'll add it to my rooms. This document is ready to share with the class as view only. Students will be able to click on the links to quickly get into Google Meet. Each one of these is a unique nickname Meet. As a teacher, I need to join each one of these nickname Meets so that they are ready for my students to join. My students don't yet have the code because I have not assigned the document to them. Now that I'm in all of these meets, I'm going to want to mute all of these sites. Otherwise, I'm going to have four meets with a lot of students talking. To do this, I'm going to use an extension called Mute Tab. Going to the Chrome Web Store, there's a number of extensions called Mute Tab. Any one of these will work fine. I'm going to choose Mute Tab. Add the extension. And now I can navigate to each one of these meets. Once in them, I can go ahead and click on the Mute Tab extension that will mute each one of these tabs. This way, when all my students join, I'm not going to hear a cacophony of voices. And now, I can go ahead and meet my class and let them know that I'll be assigning to them a document with a number of breakout rooms. And just like we would normally assign something, I can go ahead and put it into my stream for my class. Students can go ahead and access the document and click on the room that they're assigned to join each one of the breakouts.